the Oscar goes to... Jamie Lee Curtis! (laughs) Jamie Lee Curtis made her big screen debut in the horror classic Halloween. 45 years later, she was an executive producer on the final installment, Halloween Ends. You know, (laughs) 2023 Oscar winner for Best Supporting Actress, Jamie Lee Curtis is a woman of many talents, including New York Times bestselling children's author, and her latest book is called Just One More Sleep. Mm-hmm. All good things come to those who wait mm-hmm. and wait <laughs> and wait. Please welcome back our friend, the fabulous Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> Everything. Can we just talk about that second? Did you see my face? I did see <laughs> and you know what? I haven't seen that. I saw it one time after yeah. it happened. Uh, I haven't seen yeah. it since. You didn't hear it. I, and then I, you heard it really loud. The in your last yeah. thing. <laughs> you were first of all, I must just say this. The idea that they nominated me, yeah. that was the moment. Because that was that moment yeah. where Uh, My best friend came over and sat with me and took pictures of me as I was watching. And I really didn't think it was going to happen. I had a lot of people in my ears. And I spent, like, I had COVID, and I was just saying, stop, stop, stop. So when that moment happened, that was everything. So this, I I went to this, like, whatever. Like, I was, (laughs) we sat, so none of this is scripted. (laughs) When we got there, I looked at my t- we had a digital ticket and there's a crush of people and you're like going in and show your pass and your COVID test and it was yeah. like, ah! And I looked at my ticket and it said row A. Wow. And I looked at Heidi Schaefer, my publicist and friend. I said, row A? Wow. The front row? Wow. She said, yeah. So then when we sat down, when Michelle Yeoh and Ki Kwan and Stephanie Hsu came in, I went to each one of them I sat directly in front, I <laughs> kneeled in front of each one and I went, I'm gonna look at you mm-hmm. as you're Michelle. And I went, Michelle, where are we? And she said, we're at the Oscars. I said, we're at the Oscars <laughs> for a movie that we're in. And I said, where are we sitting? And she said, the front row. I said, we're sitting in the front row <laughs> at the Oscars, okay? Because we made this movie in 38 days in Simi Valley, California, in January of 2020. We shut, we finished the movie the day the world shut down. Wow. And this was now two years later, we were in the front row at the Oscars. (laughs) That was, so the win was like the last thing I thought was gonna happen. Oh, Oh, wow. Last thing. I thought would happen. Ah. Like, last thing I thought would happen. That's why the look on my face is what it is. <laughs> well, it's been a year. We've known each other a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I can see. Well, it's been a year. Where do you keep it? Because so, Whitney brought hers in once, and, and I'll be honest, we were all grabbing it and taking pictures. <laughs> no, as and, if we want it. It, 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 the, so. I, it lives in my house. Um, it lives, uh, I have degendered it. <laughs> okay. I have a trans daughter, and there is no genitalia oh, on. Yeah. Oh, my uh, goodness. So yes. it lives in my <laughs> office, and I put a googly eye. Yes. Uh, for the homage to <laughs> everything, know. everywhere, all at once. And I put a they, them button to just make sure anybody coming in understood. Well, the Oscar is they, them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, so, I mean, it lives in my house. I walk by it, I go like, wait, what? <laughs> I mean, it's still, it's just a miraculous it thing that I never thought like would that. happen in my life. Yeah. Oh. And then it happened, and, and it will always, all, feel it like will that? always And it will like always it. sort yes. of always, be associated. Like, yes. my name will get to be, a, yes. I mean, it's just bizarre. I've been texting because, of course, the, you know, the, 
I call it the hunt for shiny things. You know, there's a big, <laughs> I mean, we all like these shows, these award shows, but yeah. really it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's intense. Yes. All the movies mm -hmm. trying to get the attention. You're yeah. trying to get the attention for the work. We're not really looking at for it for ourselves, even though it looks like we are. <laughs> no, seriously, because we're all like, eh. anyway. But the group, the family that you make, the creative family like you guys have, we, we've been, I've been texting with them, reminding us all where we were last year mm -hmm. at this time, the Golden Globes, the People's Choice Award, the Critics' Choice yeah. Award. Yeah. So, it, and, and, here. We, <laughs> yes. and here. And here, yeah. And here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, here. so, speaking of the Golden Globes, can I ask you about another iconic Jamie Lee Curtis moment? When your co-star of Everything, Everywhere, All at this Once, moment. Michelle yeah. Yeoh won a Golden Globe. It was her first win. Yeah. Just, you looked so excited and pure joy for her. Just yeah. women supporting women. Oh, my yeah. like, <laughs> It's so good. Uh, so, it, it turned into a movement. A right, it turned into a movement, so I'll be very brief oh, that's if I can. Great. So right before her category, I had already lost, by the way. Yeah. I was fine. <laughs> um, by the way, got COVID at the Golden Globe. But whatever, <laughs> with COVID protections and all of the testing, yeah. whatever. <laughs> anyway. Um, I had already lost, so Michelle was sitting right next to me, and I could see she was really nervous. And then they announced, like, the next award coming up is wow. da da da. And she was really nervous. I said, What's going on, babe? You okay? And she said, I'm really nervous. I said, Why? She said, I've never been nominated for anything. Oh, now, no. the point is this at that point, she had already been named Best Actress by the Critics' yeah, Choice right. and, uh, like, the Critics' people, right. but she hadn't been in nomination. Right. Oh, wow. And I looked at her in her life. Wow. In her life. Oh, yeah. And so she just shared that, and then she won. Yeah. Oh. So that moment for me was knowing what it meant for her. And it was, by the way, it's not a pretty picture of me. I was happy. <laughs> I was happy <laughs> for great. her. I was happy. It's a great but picture. what happened is... Yeah. A woman named Erin Gallagher mm -hmm. the next day posted this, and I'll do a brief reading of it. It was a post she did. Um, Hype women. Ladies, this is your vibe for 2023. That picture. Yeah. Um, unabashed hype woman. Full on, full out, full force. This is your vibe. Hype other women. Yeah. And then it goes on, decondition and unlearn what you've been wired to think that women are your competition. Yes. Yes. It's a trap meant to distract us and to keep us Indeed. keeping each other down. And then she wrote, find your Jamie, hype their Jamie, be her Jamie. Indeed. And oh. that, yes. said, that has now become a movement called Hype Women. Yep. Now, I'm not their like, you know what I mean? I'm not their spokesperson. <laughs> yeah. But it was born from that moment, and she I has really it. established that for women. Wow. I just think it's I love it. And aptly assigned, because hearing the behind the scenes story, you were doing that. It wasn't yeah. just a moment where it's a scream. You felt every ounce of that. I, I was so excited for Michelle, a woman who'd been in so, so, so many, many movies. movies. So yeah. many movies. And, oh my God. You know, it was just, it was wow. just, she, it was so, and look at her face, you know, she's, yeah. she was so, so thrilled. So wow. yes, it was that moment, yeah. and, wow. and it came out of something pure, yeah. and that's, that's when you know it's great, because it wasn't contrived, or it wasn't, no. yeah. you know, whatever. Well, another thing you do really well is write children's books. Aww, no. And I love... <laughs> Uh, the, the excellent books illustrated uh, by the super talented Laura Cornell. I've mm -hmm. made 14 books with her. Yeah. Wow. Oh, now, look at now Whoopi. your new look book. Look at what Whoopi's uh, doing. She's, like, she's going to go ahead and put like out a there. Bookseller. So it's <laughs> called Just One More Sleep Good Things Come to Those Who Wait and Wait and Wait. It's about patience. Yes. It's a book for young children to metabolize time. Yes. You know, we're adults yeah. and we all so can for them. understand how much time something takes. But little children can't. And no. so, not in my generation, but in the modern generation, if there are there young moms here, have you used... Well, young kids, not young moms. So, but, <laughs> you know what? Sorry. I think you're a young mom. Thank yeah. you. But the idea is that young children have learned yeah. that the way to wait for something is to say, two more, more sleeps, sleeps yep. Yep. and then it's your birthday, so that they can do it. And the, the book was born on COVID Christmas, wow. first COVID Christmas, 2020, mm. Christmas Eve, I saw my neighbor out on the street. 
and we were 10 feet from each other with yeah. masks. It was yeah. like, you know, it was like, hi, Betty. It's Christmas Eve. I said, hey, Betty. She goes, hey, Jamie. Yeah. She was four. And I said, Santa's on his way. <laughs> and she looked at me, and she was like, no, Jamie, one more sleep, oh. then Santa. Uh. And I went, ding. And oh. two years later, a what book up? illustrated by my partner, Laura Cornell, about, oh. so it's a celebration of celebration. Yeah. Yes. It's, you know, all the national holidays, Mother's Day, Father's Day, and then a couple of the religious holidays, yeah. and first day of school, yeah. camp, right. all of the things that we get excited for. Halloween. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Halloween. I mean, I mean mention. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. and by the way, I'm done, and I'm still hyping. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, Halloween is so thrilling yes, for kids. Yes, yes, yes. They love and it. And so to be able to say one more sleep, then it's Halloween. We speak in yeah. sleeps at our house, yeah. too. Yeah. That's oh, you how do? they understand it is two more sleeps, three more sleeps. OK, yeah. well, it's right. perfect. That's how people talk to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's soup. They say four more sleeps till you can come back. <laughs> 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 well, 